Hey, what's up, guys? Belte back with more Rondo of Swords. Um, so this today we're playing um a rather hard map actually. So I level grinded them and some to level not eleven, Marie to level seven, and Margaret uh, K to level sixteen. There's actually a change. Um, the others are the same. The only reason why all right, you guys might wonder we can we use six players, right? So, I'm not using Sasha or Selmer, because they go, they do quests. So here's what quests are all about. Um, so basically you want to concentrate uh, Sasha in Smith quests, which is second down, the 10th Smith. Basically you want to do that, and for Selmer, um... You want to do car quest, the third down, which I believe was this one, right? I believe it was this one. Yeah, third down. First, second, then this is the third one. Anyway, it's the tail one. It's always named tail, and the smith one's already always smith. So they can do that, and after like a couple, um, I believe, if you... Hold on. Um, if you let Sasha do like six Smith quests, she gets like two attack bonuses. I don't know, like, I don't know, like, if it's stats. It's like her stats increases. Like, it's three times the crit, three times the accuracy, and two times the damage. And for car quests, if you use Selmer, go use Selmer three times in the car quest, uh, his ice magic. His mag uh, ice magic, the mana points use is ne uh, negative 20%, so you get to use not as much mana. And if you go six times, he actually regens uh, 5%, so that's pretty good. Um, anyways, let's check out the stat the skills and anthem. Uh, level him up all the way to level 11, and you'll get invoke life, which is more health. I'll max that out. I'm trying to get sharp shot, because that's the next useful one. Increase accuracy, he needs that. Which is also why we have this slightly increases accuracy Hawkeye Metal for him. Marie, not much actually. All you have to do is concentrate, like put one into Cure Drop, or one or two at least. Um, And then the rest is on this for now. I invoke mine and invoke mana. And that's about it. I mean, these three are just plain old normal. So let's get to the fighting part. Alright. You guys want to follow my steps exactly. Because if you save the um, these civilians, you actually get... Like, if you don't let any, of them, any one of them get hurt, you actually get a uh, prize for that. So, you want to follow exactly what I'm doing. Because of my carelessness that the Empire is attacking Shalom, isn't it? It's not your fault, Marie. I no doubt overstayed my welcome. Let's both leave here as soon as we can. Yes, elder brother. I mean, if you guys did leave earlier, how about the civilians? They're gonna get attacked. So, move K right next to Margus. So, what kind of people are these Red Lion? They're the 3rd Imperial Army Division. Their leader is a woman called Clotho, the Red Lion herself. She used to be a bandit. She's the only one who can keep command of the savages under her command in line. The Empire is using such people as regular troops. Remember, they weren't always this powerful. They they had except many, any warm body to increase their ranks. Yet somehow they managed to defeat us. Hmm. We wouldn't have lost if they hadn't used such cowardly tactics. Their loss for conquest frightened me, I admit. I wonder how far they'll take it. It doesn't matter what they do, the Empire is no threat to us. I think you're repeating yourself, my friend. Huh. Alright. Musertic over here um move Ansem over here he can't hit anyone so I'll just exit out of that and move Marie right here now it's the civilians trying to move let them move Hopefully this works. All right, there we go.
Uh, let's see. Let's... Actually, Marcus, let Marcus go first. Yeah, put him right there. Here I go. Why not? All right, he finished that guy off. Huh. Let's take out the last three with him. Attack! Oh, actually, dang. Kind of messed up. I don't know if this will work or not. Hold on, I'll be right back. I think I messed up. Alright, hold up. Alright, I'm back, guys. So, uh, I kind of did mess up. Um, I am recording, right? Alright, uh, so Cerdic was here, right? So move him all the way over here. Don't move him over here. Just move all the way over there. Next, what you want to do is take out the rest of these guys. And put K right here, I believe. Alright, or you can get bounce back, doesn't matter really. Um put Marcus right here. Take this guy out with Ansem. I mean if it goes successfully, you don't have to use Ansem to hit these guys. I missed, uh, because K got bounced back by this guy. But if normally, if you go through him, use Ansem and hit this guy so he, he can actually get an advantage. You guys can get, like, your team can get an advantage of winning. So, I'll just heal K for now. I mean, it's not much, but it all adds up in the end. So, I would heal as much as possible um, because the enemies will do a lot of damage. If it, it, I mean, it does add a little. So, all right, now putting them there, they wouldn't target civilian. They would target this uh, prince. That's not good either. <laughs> um, kind of want to put Cerdic over here. Here I go. There we go. Put Marcus right there. Here I go. Alright, so the civilian should be safe now. Um, what I would do... I guess... Just put K right here. Move Marie up. And... Let Ansa move up as well. Start attacking anytime as soon as possible. It doesn't matter. Just start attacking as soon as possible. Cause these guys will be the main parts of this fight. Cause these guys are hard to fight. Attack! And now the battle will commence. Um, let's see. Let's take. Here I go. Because I really don't want to get Cerdic in there. So move him back, actually. And snipe this guy. I believe it's five blocks away. Yeah, it's five blocks away. Snipe him down. You should do enough damage to take him down. And just Marie, just the usual heal. Because it all does it all does end add up in the end. So, all right, this is where either K might die. K might die. It might end horribly. Time you learned, Time you learned a lesson. Okay, going well so far. Yeah, go ahead, tech. Tech. Okay. All right. That's good. Um, you want to take Clotho out as early as possible. Which why I'm going to do that. Attack! All right. Oh boy. How fun. Alright, heal. 
As long as you take Clotho out, everything should be just fine. Alright, so she has last of her health. I may hope you have luck in hitting Clotho, because she's pretty hard to hit. Alright, no, there we go. Clotho has been hit, and she just got struck down. Now you obtain the robber proof. Robber proof, uh, everything that has proof behind it, you can, uh, you can evolve people with it, basically. It's like evolving, it's just getting them a better rank as a, as a warrior, or whatever they are, like, a, like, Ansem is an archer, so he gets, like, a better archer class, I believe. Alright, so now all you have to do is take out, take down all the lackeys. Pretty easy stuff, I mean... You don't really need to explain much here, so let's see. Here I go. All right, take that guy down. Nice. I mean, the the rest is just self-explanatory. I mean, it's just taking these guys down. Not much to it. And also heal Cerdic. Cause you don't want him to drop to zero, or or you're just gonna have to restart all over again. Um, take him out with Ansem. All right, there we go. Actually, okay, K hit anybody? No, and he's too far to reach. So I'll just let him stay right there. Okay, up. The more you heal, the the um the more levels you get. And I kind of want to finish everybody off with Ansem just to get to the levels, cause K. I mean, he's strong already, so he doesn't need a level. And Sardic, of course, he's level 20, doesn't need a level. Unless you want to end it flash and use his overbreak right now because he is dead. He's gonna die. Yeah, why not? Let's do that. Let's end it flashy. Holy Blade, Holy Blade, release your power! Bam! Bam! He's done. He's done. And victory! There we go! Um, this battle can be hard if you're low leveled. I mean, I wasn't that level, but I was moderate, and like I said, for rescuing the tribesmen, you receive an angel medal. Basically, the angel medal is for every turn, like every turn, every phase, not every phase, but like every time it's your turn, you get to heal. Your character heals whoever has that equipped, so that's pretty good. Um, with the third division called Red Lions on its heels, the Breathwall Armory fled to Gara Mountains. These are where it's blocked by the Wise Bandits. Alright, so this is going to be the next episode. The Wise Bandits. Um, I don't believe there's any level grinding to do here. Uh, you can level grind, but I wouldn't recommend it. Because it's, it's an all-out battle. Oh, anyways. Alright, boss, they're here. So those are the guys who gave you a whooping while I was gone, huh? Alright, let's teach him not to mess with the wise bandit's pride. Your Highness, there are bandits ahead. Damn, these bandits picked a bad time for this. We'll have to focus on strength and break through. But Elder Brother, if the Imperial Army comes bef army from before it comes here, won't these bandits meet the same horrible fate as the people of Shalem? If we warn them, they might better understand our position. You raise a good point, but we can't be certain they'll listen. Please allow me. You out of the question. I can't let you do something so dangerous. Either way, we will be in danger, given that... If there's even a slight chance of saving people, our choice is clear, isn't it? You're right. But if I see any sign that you're in danger, I won't hesitate to intervene. Okay. So basically what she means, she takes care of everything. The badass healer. Um. Anyway, Selmer has completed Fool's Tales. The power of ice grows stronger still. Sasha has completed Tenth Smith. Light and sleek looks good. Alright. So I believe Anselm leveled up. Let's give him a sharp shot. I mean, there's really not much to learn in his skills. 
Focus, increased accuracy for allies who pass through. You don't need. Oh, eternal rage. You need that. Because every time you level up, you heal. So that's good. Charisma. You don't really need it. It's just for the quest for the. Arends. Back here, Arends. This quest. You get a likely chance to level up and stuff. You don't need that, really. Um, Sasha. Focus on Arrow Guard and then go with Daredevil and give her defense uh, amulets because this um, this skill will lower her defense if you go with that. Go with Sharp Shot first because increase accuracy. Um, Selmer, really not much to it actually. Uh, I will complete Invoke Mine, Ice Shark, and not. White dust yet, cause he needs to level up more before he learns white dust. Uh, Marie's all leveled up, right? Now uh, go with, go with, invoke mana. I don't know. I want to say invoke mana, but she like automatically she heals her mana every time. So I'm not sure. Yeah, go with Invoke Mine actually. Just go with Invoke Mine. It will come in use. Um, Invoke Mine is basically just increase her magic, her healing stats. Um, so basically that's it for this episode. I'm gonna go level grind. I mean, it's hard to level grind this one because um, you'll see if you guys play it, you'll see. It's really hard to level grind. But anyways, guys, I'm going to end this right here. Um, hope you guys have enjoyed. Comment, like, down below. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye.